Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Can-Am Spider Accessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Pitbull lift for Can-Am Spiders. It is, for me, in my humble opinion, the best lift out there for a Can-Am Spider. It's big, it's sturdy, it's strong, it's dependable, and it can lift your Can-Am Spider up to 24 inches. Why do you need 24 inches? Well, if you want to do a little bit of mechanic on your Can-Am Spider, you want to change the oil, you want to have access to those two plugs on the 1330, you want to be able to do a sway bar by yourself, well, you need some clearance, and this Pitbull lift will do that for your Canon Spider. We're going to cover a couple of things. We're actually going to do an unboxing. Like, I've always wanted to do one of those. So we got a big box here. We've got a brand new Pitbull lift. We're going to unpackage and we're going to put it together. So we're going to do the assembly. And then I'll do you a little demonstration on where to pick up the Canem Spider. I mean, there's a sweet spot for it, and it's the same on all Canem Spiders, whether it's an RS, an F3, RT, or the ST. There's always the same place where you want to pick it up, so you have that perfect balance. So I'll get the unboxing and show you how to lift up that Canem Spider. As you've noticed, this lift weighs in about 130 pounds, so it, it is big, really big. It's not your small shop lift to just, you know, be able to lift off 11 inches off the ground. This is big, massive, heavy duty. So uh, this is an assembly I'm going to be doing directly on the concrete floor. I'm not going to try to lift that up on my work table uh, and, and then try to bring it down once it's assembled. I'm by myself. You may be assembling this by yourself as well. We don't want nobody to get injured if it slips away from you. So, going to work on the ground for this. <laughs> first things we want to do is that we want to raise the table all the way up. Now to be able to do this you're going to take one of your legs and you're going to put it right on the frame in the center here. That's the black frame that's there and you're going to hold on to these two arms here and you're simply going to lift like this. For this step we're going to take the security, uh, security arms and we're going to bring them down on both sides. Simply remove these two bolts right here. The bolts need a half inch socket. It's time to put the cylinder you want the Pitbull logo towards the wheels. For this step, we're going to bring this part down, the red part down, but you want to keep the black part right here up. There's a little screw right here, so we want to take that out. I've already put this into place by pulling on it, so you can see exactly where you need to hand up. Now this black part here needs to be pulled towards you. It'll go downwards and you need to be able to clear that little round piece of the cylinder so when you press the pedal it's actually going to push up on it and bring the mechanism up. Now once you've done that you'll be able to take this piece here, line it up through the hole here and into this little space right there and this is where you're going to be putting this little bolt back there. There's a hole through this part and there's actually a hole here so if you line both of those up you'll be good to go. Okay. 
Now just go ahead and make that tight. For the wheels, really not that complicated. You can choose two heights. You got two holes here on the side. Choose whatever one you want. I'd rather go uh, with one that's on the bottom. The clearance is just right for the Canem Spider. The wheel goes on the outside. That was easy enough. That's like a 15 minute assembly. Now we're ready to lift up a Can-Am Spider. Yeah, I better go get one. One of the cool things about picking up your Can-Am Spider is being able to wash it. I've said in the past videos, I'm not a fan of, wash of washing down my Can-Am Spider. There's nothing I like about it, but to be honest, when it's nice and easy like that, it's up, you know, you lifted it up. So I actually, uh, took time out to clean my Can-Am Spider. It'll be easier for me to show you, <coughs> excuse me, where to pick it up once it's all the way up so I can get my camera underneath. So let's go take a look underneath that Can-Am Spider. I've gotten the habit of picking up my Can-Am Spider from the left side. Now I've got my, <coughs> excuse me, I've got my reference points um, like that right now so that's what i'm going to show you how to pick it up on the left hand side you determine left and right how well when you're sitting on the canam spider so let me go ahead and get underneath and show you all right this angle should be really good for you guys you see this here for those of you who have the rt and by the way this is a canam spider rt underneath here you can see this is the peg let me point to it all right you got your peg here Right there, I have my own floorboards on this, but you still see the peg right here. And see how I'm lined up? This is lined up with the peg. And right here, this is the lever for when you change the gear. And see how that's on an angle right here like that? Let me get the camera hang on like this. And you can see that I'm just, try to get my finger here. Let me get some more light in there. All right, so you see my finger is here. You've got the lever that's a little bit on an angle right here like that. And it's going down, maybe, I don't know, that might be like 10 or 15 degrees. And you want this to be just on the inside. If you're too much on the ins uh, here, on the outside towards the back of the bike, then this here is gonna be hitting that. So you just wanna be on the inside of that. There's a little bolt here. And let me show you, see that bolt there? And that's my reference point. That's always where I want to be. Now you have that on the F3 as well. So no matter where you are, you always want to be towards the back of this shaft here. See that there? So always at the back of that. And on the 210 to I think 213, this is a little different here. So just go all the way to the back. You start lifting up your Canon Spider. If the wheel in the back is not lifting up after you've left lifted the front end for about two inches then you know you're not in the right spot and you have to redo it again on each side of your lift you do have these safety levers here that you can just simply put down into the holes that are there and make sure that you know if for any reason the cylinder should go down these levers will kick in and it will stop the spider from falling down the bearings on this lift are actually so good on the wheels that if i unlock it you can actually move you can have spider around now I'm going to go to extreme. I'm going to move it even if it's two feet up in the air. But <laughs> excuse me, if you want to move it around, you may want to have uh, lower it down a little bit and then you can actually move it around, push it in a corner somewhere if need be. I've just unlocked the security screw. So let's move this baby around. So I just did that in real time. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the showing and assembly of the Pitbull Motorcycle Lift. 
for your Can-Am Spider. You can lift up a lawnmower, a tractor, uh, you have a, you know, an ATV, a golf cart, anything up to 1,500 pounds. This baby will lift it up safely. I like it. I've used it hundreds and hundreds of times here at the Spider Shop. So it is Spider Shop approved, if that means anything, in a humble way. But I use it and I, I recommend it. I also sell them now on CanamSpiderAccessories.com. That's how much I believe in this product. Once again, thank you very much for following us on YouTube. You guys are amazing. Uh, go shopping on the website. Go crazy. Have some fun. Um, yeah, and uh, be well and be safe on the roads, guys. Thank you.